All rise. As movie what is now in session. The uh, the honorable judge on a spade is about to make his entrance. <sighs> So, I believe we're ready for Freddy. Yep, ready as ready as gonna be. So, what are we reviewing today? The franchise of that is A Nightmare on Elm Street. Oh, so the guy that burned alive and was into little kid, little girls, right? Well, one, well, one little girl's the only thing he stopped. Mm. Why don't you tell everybody? at home that don't know who this creepy guy is on what A Nightmare on Elm Street is about. Well, basically a child molester, for lack of a better word, and kill, killing little kids. Mm -hmm. The parents took revenge and burned him alive in his home. Mm -hmm. And uh, now he haunts little kids in their dreams and kills them in their dreams. Can you believe that this was actually a franchise that some people actually enjoyed? I'm not super surprised. Yeah, I know someone in particular that knows a grown woman that has a crush on Freddy. Mm. What the hell? Um, Desperation. Very much so indeed. She must really like the claws up inside her. Um, so... <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know, that was wrong. Please forgive me. Um, so, tell everyone at home what happens in uh, the first Nightmare on Elm Street. Well, the first Nightmare on Elm Street, it basically, it basically features a young girl having a nightmare mm -hmm. eh, about Freddy. Mm-hmm. Even though, for some odd reason, the first one, he was more called Fred than yeah. Freddy. Yeah. Which was kind of interesting. Mm-hmm. And, um... One, two, uh, Fred's coming for you. You know, the, you know that throughout <laughs> all the movies, that always changed slightly? Yeah, it does. It always changes slightly. The first two lines are the same, but mm -hmm. the other three changes. Yeah, it does. Mm. But, um, and, um, and, uh, let's see. Well, for one, you know, okay, to the people at home, the reason why, um, Mr. Ninja Dragon 22 is acting the way he is, is this is a franchise that he wasn't much fond of, but wanted to get it off of his chest, just... To put it in movie review form, the franchise of a, the Nightmare on Elm Street movie. So, please bear with him. He, like how I was when I defeated my fear of playing Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde for the NES. This is kind of his way of getting rid of his fear. So, please, you know, bear with us. You know, we're doing as best as we can right now. And you're doing a really good job right now. Well, you are. You're doing a good job. Well, wasn't that one fond of the movie? It was just, if you think about it, it got kind of weird. Creepy. It got kind of, well, I wouldn't say creepy, just more weird than creepy. Explain weird. Well, I mean, think about it. This was the only, so far I can think of, the only movie that you really couldn't tell which was a dream sequence and which was a real life sequence. <laughs> That's actually true. You cannot, I mean, you cannot tell what was the dream sequence, which was the real, the real life sequence. <laughs> which movie out of the franchise did you kind of like the best? Actually, it was the second one. And why is it the second one? Freddy's Revenge. Actually, that was my, I am ashamed to say it, but that was my favorite one. Actually, it's because of something that happens. What's that? And that's toward, I want to say maybe toward the middle of the movie, I guess. Mm -hmm. And it was about... And it's about... Okay, you've seen the second one, right? Yes, I have. Okay, remember that... Sadly. You re remember the gym teacher? The really mean gym teacher? Mm -hmm. That had a dirty secret. He was like an s and master or mm -hmm. some jazz like that? Yep. And I know exactly what you're talking about. It's that part. Actually, it's the part where... Um, well, explain it. Explain it to Well, the, the part where... um, What's that boy name in that movie? Jesse. That's mm -hmm. the Jesse. Jesse. Basically, in the second one, Freddy is basically... 
inhabiting Jesse's body, mm-hmm. and so it looks like Jesse's sort of like sleepwalking. Yeah, basically. And um, in the part, in the part, in the, my favorite scene was the part he's basically sleepwalking toward this leather bar that's outside of town or something like that. Mm-hmm. And the coach is and the and the coach um, Snyder. Yeah, coach, coach Snyder. Snyder. That's his name. You're doing good. And um. He he runs into Jesse at this bar, mm-hmm. and and I sort of like liked and hated the coach at the same time. How so? Well, it well actually okay. Remember the part where Jesse's in the shower at school? Yes. And you see the coach going is in his office, and he gets this jump rope, right? Yes. And as and I don't want to give nothing. I ain't trying to draw attention to myself, but. When you put, if you put two and two together, it wouldn't take a rocket scientist to figure out what he planned to do with that rope. Why don't you tell everyone what he was planning to do? With it? I rather not. <laughs> That's the spirit. I, um. I, 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 I rather not. <laughs> I have I already. Mm, 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 mm. So, <clears throat> tell the viewers how many movies were made of the Nightmare on Elm Street franchise. Okay, hold on. Let me see. That was the first one. Freddy's Revenge, Dream Warriors, mm-hmm. The Dream Master. No, it's the Dream Child. Um, I'm saying that was the Final Nightmare, New Nightmare, and then there was this remake. Um, so I think that's eight. Technically, yeah. So, and all but the last one has the same Freddy, which was Robert England. Yeah, the remake sadly didn't have Robert England, and, and it and, sucked. And. Um, and and actually, if actually here's a fun fact: if you pay attention in the second movie, mm-hmm. very early in the movie, if you look hard enough, you will see the driver, the bus driver, is actually Robert England. Is actually Robert England. Yeah, that's actually why I like the second one a little bit more as well. Because actually, actually, it happens twice: once in the beginning, and once at the end. So, we're gonna rate these movies because I know how you don't like to talk about all of these movies simply because you don't like them, except for the second one. So, what would you rate each one? Well, of course, the first well, the first one's gonna get a, a nine out of me because mm-hmm. of one of the actors that's in that movie. And who was that? Um, Joseph Whip. He was Joseph the sheriff. Whip. Yep, I I do know exactly who you're talking about. I I like Joseph Whip too. Uh huh. He was the sheriff. He was a uh, Nancy's father. Yep. Okay. Next. The other one also gets a nine. Okay. I'm gonna say the third one's gonna get an eight. An 8.5 for the third one, because he also appears in that one as well. Mm-hmm. He appears again. Next. Let's see. Four and five, they both get a 6.5. And why is that? Well, because, well, technically, both Joseph Witt and, um, what's that one that played Nancy? Heather Landenkamp? Some, mm-hmm. Something like that? Something like that? Yeah. They were both in the first and the third one. Mm-hmm. So... And they weren't bad. Mm-hmm. So, and then, of course, by then, the people that do make it, they get they get car- start carrying over. Yeah. Which ain't a bad thing, per se, but the plot was getting kind of stupid. All right. And then the next one? Okay, I see. I did four and five together. Yes. Six, get the sixth one, the final nightmare, I'm going to get that a five. I've only seen it, like, once. I wasn't really a fan of it. And um, then there was New Nightmare. Mm-hmm. That got a that one. I only seen that one once too. And that one kind of didn't really make sense. I to thought me. it was really dumb. That one, I, I get that one a three. Mm. Like I only seen it once because technically in New Nightmare they're sort of taking the first one, mm-hmm. but they're like doing it in a um, it's like in a movie kind of way. Well, it's not exactly in a movie sense exactly. Mm-hmm. It's more like sort of. It's like real life behind the scenes of the first movie, kind of, mm-hmm. but not exactly. Now I ha- now aside from the fact that I actually agree with your list, I actually would give um, the first Nightmare on Elm Street a seven because of the creep factor in it. No, they didn't get creepy till later. <laughs> I'm just saying is the when I saw the first one the first time, I thought it was extremely creepy. Now, the second one, I will still give it the rating that you gave, and everything else I can agree with. But here's a twist of a question for you, Ninja. 
Where do you think that the Nightmare on Elm Street franchise should have stopped? The final nightmare. Because think of, of the fact that it says final? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> it's, it's common sense. Yeah. I True. mean, that's just, that's, that's just common sense. I mean, if you're, okay, it's called, okay, last, number six was, that, the sixth one's not called Nightmare on Elm Street. It's called Freddy's Dead, The Final Nightmare. Mm-hmm. Which means, that should be it. That's it. That's the end of Freddy. <laughs> it, it, it should be, but no. You, they made two more movies <laughs> after that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Now, me-wise, I think it should have ended in the third movie. Oh, uh, Dream Warriors? But I think they could have changed the ending for it. You know what I mean? For it to stop at the third movie. You know what I mean? Like, you know, like show that Freddy actually died. And you know what I'm talking about? I don't really like how the third one ended. Cause basically, That's why I said change the ending of the third one. <laughs> no, because Nancy and her dad, they're both dead. Oh, yeah. But at the same time, I was just really getting tired of, like, all the movies as it was making. Yeah. And the thing where I had is, I think... I want, I'm, I'm not sure if it was second and the third or third and the fourth that by the time that movie came out, the other one was already being produced. Yeah, I think it was third to fourth, I think. I think it was. I can't remember exactly. I think it was. So, would you recommend this series I to wouldn't, everyone? I wouldn't recommend the series, but maybe a couple of the movies. Which but, movies? The first and second one? Five. Maybe the first three, okay. because actually here's a, here's an interesting fact. Mm-hmm. If you took out the second one though, mm-hmm. the whole storyline would make a little bit more sense. Explain. Okay, first one you have Nancy, mm-hmm. you have your, you have her mother, mm-hmm. and then you have her dad, um, which is Joseph Webb. Yeah. Okay, the mother gets killed in the first one, mm-hmm. but them two still are alive, mm-hmm. but they don't reappear again until the third one. Yes. And then you have these new characters appear, mm-hmm. and from there forth, usually I'm trying to remember the first and the third one. It was Kristen, Joey. Mm-hmm. What's that black guy's name? I can't remember. I can't but, remember his name. But either. they live in the third mm-hmm. and in the third one. But then they die in the fourth one. Yeah, all four of them. Yeah, it was, then that com- kind of pissed me off. Then comes this new girl. Alice. Which ends up getting the actual attributes that they had. No, just the girl. Yeah. Just, just what Kristen had. Because Kristen's the only one that had that ability. Yeah, she could actually gain the Dream Warriors ability. Yeah, yeah she she could pull people into her dream. Mm-hmm. Which I, I mean, if you weren't having a nightmare, I wouldn't say that's a bad trait, per se. Yeah. But still, you know. Anyway, and then it was Alice and her brother. I forget his name. Mm-hmm. But he ends up dead. Yeah. The brother does. And then it's Alice. In the most gruesome way, too. I can't remember how he dies. You don't want to know. Wasn't it an elevator or something? Mm-hmm. Something to do with an elevator. I can't mm-hmm. remember. Because him and Kristen, they were, boyfriend, they were boyfriend and girlfriend. Yeah. And um, the fifth one. Actually, Alice lives in the fifth one. Yeah, she is in the fifth movie. Yeah. But then, if you want to do it in that particular order, then the fifth one should have been the last one, because that was the only appear in the sixth one. Yeah. If you want to do it that sense. <laughs> so, thank you so much for watching this episode of Movie What. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe. Please, in the comments below, let me know what your thoughts are on the Nightmare on Elm Street franchise. And just any comments you have about how creepy Freddy is. So, were we ready for Freddy? No, we were not. Um, (laughs) So, as always, this is Onyx Spade and... Ninja Dragon. And we will see you, yes you, in the next video. Bye-bye.